Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Motoscribes. I'm Vikram Gore, and with me over here is the Tar Rocks. Now, if you go to my channel, you will see that I was at the launch, and I've got a quick walk around of the vehicle from last night. But right now, I want to give you a better tour of the interior because the lighting is way better. So let's take a look at what's happening inside the Tar Rocks. Right, so first you can see that it is something that uh, gets a premium look. You've got ventilated seats. These are uh, leather, so uh, leather ventilated seats. They've continued this over from the three door. And uh, the steering wheel is something that is different. It's slightly more sporty with a slightly more flat bottom. You've got steering mounted controls over here. and You've also got your door mounted uh, controls for the windows and all of that. Now this, as you know, is not there on the three door. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system, your speakers have moved to the doors and your door pockets have become a little bit uh, smaller as compared to before. You've got uh, electronically adjustable uh, driver seat and as you move in, you can see that it's got a much larger uh, touchscreen interface. This was something that we were expecting and uh, it is now available on the Tar Rocks. Let me just uh, fire this up and you don't need the key because you've got start stop. So there you go. Push button start, a digital display here for the driver and like I said, a larger touchscreen interface. Uh, other things that are uh, available on the five door include a series of new buttons. So you will notice that there's a drive mode button here where you can switch between zip, zap and zoom. You've got your uh, seat ventilation controls here and here for the front seats. And uh, of course, your AC controls are up there. This is uh, the two-wheel drive uh, manual variant. So, as you will notice, there's no 4x4 shifter on this. And over here, you've got the electronic uh, park brake. What uh, Mahindra has also done is uh, a lot of uh, storage space. So, you get a center armrest where you can actually stick in some knickknacks and uh, space allocation by and large seems to be uh, right where you want it to be. Uh, let me know what you think as well uh, in the comment section below. This is just more about me showing you uh, the interiors and not really telling you uh, what I think of uh, certain things, thanks to a keyword called embargo. But uh, yeah, it's just a look at what the cabin is like. Uh, up here, you get your controls for uh, the panoramic sunroof. So. This, as you can see, goes all the way back. It's a pretty large panoramic sunroof. And you can pop it completely open as well. So, getting it all the way back. And I want to give you a view over here. So, Mahindra has integrated a nice large panoramic sunroof. And that is one of the standout features that you do get with this. With the rear seat, uh, you're talking about, uh, you know, a, a good look at the leg space. Now I've got the seats adjusted to where I would be sitting. I'm six foot two and uh, that's why I've got the seats all the way back uh, to where I would position them and where I would think is uh, key for me to be seated comfortably. And you can still see uh, the space that is uh, here between the front and the rear seat and uh, the rear seats also uh, proper bench you get a center armrest that folds out with uh, cup holders over here and you can flip it back in isofix uh, child anchors uh, child seat anchors rather and uh, you've got them on the rear seat over here seat belts for all three passengers and uh, yes Mahindra has gone with a nice uh, light white. Uh, I will talk about that in my review, but for now, uh, just give you a glimpse of uh, the second row. 
and uh, what a lot of people talk about. On the doors, again, you've got your window controls up here. You've got uh, another set of speakers integrated into the doors. A small pocket for you to uh, uh, maybe keep your cell phone or uh, some knickknacks over here. And with the rear, uh, you again get uh, utility. That's definitely one of the features uh, that you do get with the, the tar. And uh, space again is on the practical side. And you also get a power outlet at the back, which adds and very neat hooks. Uh, this is to, for you to anchor luggage. So you can see that some uh, thought has gone into uh, quite a bit of this. Now I'm just going to get my cameraman back here uh, to help me because I want to show you how the rear seat folds. And the last thing I want to show you is the fact that the rear bench also folds down. It doesn't fold flat, but you can fold it down to free up a lot more uh, space for you to transport goods around or whatever you want to carry. But uh, that's that on the interior. And this is my quick interior walk around. I'm just going to get this all closed up. Some things remain the same. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the Mahindra Thar rocks with a brand new uh, top spec interior.